2021 County Achievement Award goes to Pike County for their Alma Bukta Technology Center. The idea came about around, probably around 2009, 2010. We were looking for a way to connect a very successful Project Lead the Way program at our local high school, at Pike Central High School. We were looking for a way to connect those students that had great ideas uh, to the rest of the world. We looked for a way for them to connect their ideas to, to starting uh, businesses, to, to connect that entrepreneurial spirit, uh, to give them the resources that they needed to enable them to not have any hurdles in front of them. This project, it's a two and a half million dollar building and we applied through the U.S. Economic Development Administration for this Elmer Bukta Entrepreneur and Technology Center and it houses a co-work space, maker space, classroom space, and offices for lease. And so this project, uh, EDA graciously committed $2 million and our local match was $515,000. And a community that this size, this small rural Pike County was able to make that match. So it's just, it's a big project for us and it's a real nice asset. It's right placed at I-69 interchange. It's our gateway, this new chapter that we've, we've all talk about now as we transfer and transition um, out of the coal industry and the coal jobs and looking to the future. Officials work to find a solution to fund the technology center. They were able to obtain grants and have several benefactors to build this important center. In 2014, the um, Lilly Endowment announced uh, sometime probably in July, gift six. And some of that money, if we wanted, each community foundation could decide, um, it could be used on a pr project for the community. And so I brought the board together because I thought this was an opportunity to help move this business incubator along. Maybe, maybe we could offer some money. It was a one to two match. So if we, as we did offer $100,000, they would have to find $200,000 match. Uh, the angel investor that got this project started was Elmer Bukta. And he donated uh, about $260,000 for this project. So, uh, and then we had the Pike County Community Foundation that did 100,000 matching that just got us started. And then we've had about 20, a total of about 27 donors, benefactors that have supported this project. So thankful to all of them that have made this happen. The county is hoping the center will bring new skills, new ideas, and new opportunities for Pike County and the surrounding region. In the county, uh, the focus has always been on coal and uh, agriculture here locally. And then basically when kids go through high school, they go out of the county to do anything else they want to do. So out through these windows here, you can see the, uh, the coal mine, or actually the, the coal power plant. And that's being phased out right now. So uh, we needed to do something different here in the county so that we could uh, bring in new business and uh, develop ideas. We don't have any adult education in Pike County that we can offer. There's some dual credit out at the high school, but that's really where it stops. So Ivy Tech and Vincent's University see a need and they see a gap. And so both of them are wanting to fill that gap with our adult learners. So we're starting out with some uh, medical tech programs, trying to start with some solar tech uh, technician training this fall with Ivy Tech. So very excited to spearhead this and have it evolve. You know, we know, what, we know what we see right out of the gate that's needed, but we definitely are trying to explore different avenues of what's gonna be needed in the future as we transition out of coal, trying to, to attract new jobs and new investment um, here to Pike County, to the Southwest region, and they all need workers. Right now, we're, we're looking to uh, bring in um, a whole bunch of equipment into our maker space. Uh, more 3D printers, computer CAD stations, and so forth. Basically, if you have a product idea, you can come here, work with uh, mentors on location, and potentially start a new business. But we'll help you um, with the ideas, the ideation phase, and we'll help you to convert those ideas into three-dimensional reality, like uh, prototypes and so forth, that you'll, you'll be able to see in our makerspace. And I think that's the critical, um, how would you say, missing component there's a lot of co-working spaces, but what we have is a maker space where we can take the ideas and then turn them into reality, basically um, working pro proof of concept prototypes that can then start businesses. Okay, so that's, that's our basic plan. 
the committee of officials and volunteers have worked together to give the next generation as many opportunities as possible. Well, I think anything that we can do to encourage the youth to stay here after they've graduated from high school and maybe from college. And you know, college is, once you go to college, then the next thing is thinking, where can, where can I go? What can we do? And maybe what you can do is be here and do what you want right here. So definitely I see this center as a place to promote that and that then maybe they start their business from here, it moves into the community, and they employ people. It is amazing to think that a county of this size can come together and uh, create a project like this. Um, we had uh, business, we had government working together, and uh, the county government was behind this from almost day one, uh, and without them, uh, you know, you just can't move forward. And then when you add state and federal uh, help, uh, it, it just, everybody worked together. And uh, I think uh, we produced something here that uh, we can be proud of, or the county can be proud of, and the area, the regional area can be proud of. Partnerships created in this project aren't new. Uh, a lot of us have been working together. It's a small county. It's you know, probably one of the smallest counties in the state of Indiana by population. So we're used to working together. Uh, but usually it's not in a project of this scale. And allowing these partners to come together to create this wonderful facility, uh, this, this very tangible result that will allow us to you know, just work for the, the good and success of this county in the future. Uh, that's what makes this project special. To learn more about Pike County and the Elmer Bukta Technology Center, please visit their website.